Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, hope you're having a great day. And as always, thanks to everybody that's subscribed. I really do appreciate that. Um, I've said, if I haven't said this once, I've said it a million times that I haven't been so consistent over recent times. Um, illness, uh, other life things happening. Um, but um, I'm gonna try and get into um, um, some good habits and um, try and keep the music flowing because there is so much that I want to listen to. Um, I feel like I haven't even scraped the surface of about 12 bands that I've already um, listened to the odd track. And uh, so there's so much out there. Um, yeah, so this said, um, this is a brand new band. I've never heard of this band before. I have no ideas about them. I've only got a vague description about their a Chicago-based um, punk band uh, formed in 1976, fronted by Jim Scarfish, uh, vocals on piano, uh, Greg Sarche, uh, Sarche on bass, bugle and vocals, Larry Mus Miss Liv Miss I really can't pronounce it. I just call him Larry. Larry on drums, uh, Karen on winner on guitars, Larry Mazalan on vocals. Uh, Mark Winner on electric piano, organ, tambourine and vocals. So even though this is a punk band, they sound like, you know, they play a lot of instruments. Um, this track, particular track, was requested a while back and um, it comes from a 1980 album called Disgracing the Family Name. Uh, I think this track was actually released in 1979. So it could be like an early new wave. Um, that's that's all I know. This is an official video. I really hope this doesn't get blocked. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to listen to this. Um, any bands from this period of time that I've never heard of, it suddenly opens the world out to me because I was very locked into um, UK chart music up until about 1982. Uh, and that was when I started listening to their US Hot 100 Um but even listening to that, um, it doesn't account for, either charts don't account for a lot of music that um, wasn't necessarily commercially um, successful, but uh, had uh, perhaps a cult following. And I'm, I'm learning about these bands now and it's absolutely fantastic experience. So without further ado, um, I won't do a countdown. I'm just going to click play. Keep it just the same My mother once was proud of family 
Sorry, I'm going to pause it there. I'm only doing this for in just in case as uh, it gets it through past the copyright process. Um, has he got a tattooed shoulder, or is that just like really hairy? Um, just I I kind of just noticed that it was like, is that tattoos or is that some kind of material? Or is that just like big hairy shoulders? Um, I am absolutely loving this. It's got to me. It's got stranglers vibes, but his vocals sets it away from that. I, it feels very new wave and uh, it's got Strangler's vibe. He's got a fantastically distinct voice. I'm trying to think if he sounds like anyone else, but I, I don't want to do him this band a disservice. They've probably um, got a huge cult following within themselves. Um, I'm loving the composition of his song so far. The Organ, again, Mark Winner on the, on the organ piano, absolutely brilliant. It really gives uh, extra dimension to, to the song. I think if, if it had just been guitars, um, I've, I think it would probably feel quite flat um, and it gives it depth as well. Um, but yeah, brilliant song so far. I love the beginning. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I thought it was going to go into a full blown video with that family, but um, it's just where very well put together. Very well put. children on stage literally don't know what's going on um, they look like rabbits caught in the headlights and um, and god bless them <laughs> <laughs> Well, some really cool info on this. Um, so this looks like a video that was put together. Did I see 2012? Um, so this wasn't an original video, but this is some really cool info. And I'll leave this up actually in case anybody wants to um, have a ganders. I, cool, I really enjoyed that and I loved that bit of info at the end, um, didn't really take it all in but it looks very much like this video was created um, uh, in the, in the uh, noughties or I think it's 2012, uh, I might be wrong but um, it's either that there was an original video and it's sort of been amalgamated with um, other stuff, um, it's hard to tell but I really really enjoyed this song and as I said halfway through I had uh, had a stranglers feel to it, but I don't like to sort of necessarily label bands with other bands' labels because 
Um, they may they may have a, a distinct style of their own, which you only kind of pick up after you've heard one a few tracks. Um, but clearly, I mean, the standout thing for me was his um, was his vocals, and he was great. So I, I'm never quite sure when I see um, you know that it's a Chicago-based punk band that whether I'm gonna understand a word of what they're singing, um, depending on the aggressive way they sort of bring it across. But I, I, I kind of, I, I was listening to a lot of these lyrics, um, but I was really enjoying the performance. So my mind was kind of going from one to the other. Sometimes when you have these reactions, it, it, it would help actually to have somebody else with me um, because then at least somebody can be maybe listening to the lyrics while I'm taking in the performance. Um, but I just have to kind of wing these things when I'm on my own. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I was re I'm really surprised at uh, what a fun um, video this was and uh, what great uh, lyrics there were. So uh, I, I feel from the theme of this is that it's about um, expectations of, um, of us um, when we're youngsters to to actually fit into a family model that's been um, artif well, every family model is kind of artificially created by the people involved. And as youngsters, we kind of we either do that or we we're a little bit more rebellious. Um, I was a late rebellious one. Um, I didn't start kind of getting rebellious until I was about seventeen. And um, but yeah, um, I think that's what this is about. I'm gonna quickly zip through the, the lyrics. Um, to see if uh, I'm kind of like anywhere close to uh, or a million miles probably away from the mark of his. Uh, um, grandmother built respect for family name. My father worked to keep it the same. My mother was proud of family name, paralyzing family name with paralysis. So I guess that's saying that um, if you kind of build up your little bubble or your reputation within your family, this family is like this, that family is like that, then um, if anyone is, thinks kind of a little bit more creatively within your family and they want to do something different, something a little bit edgier, um, it, it's almost like they're paralyzed into not wanting their child to be that way or do that thing. Um, it is, it's quite stifling, I guess. My brother Peter does not understand. My sister Mary Lou hopes the best. When I was small, they knew I was a pest. Pesky little moron, now I'm disgracing the family name. He is erasing the family name. He is erasing their fine, fine reputation. How old, how are the old folks at home? How, I mean, how are the old folks at home? Which is clearly aimed more, I think, at his siblings um, than, um, then, then the parents, um, parents are expected to be different, alien to their kids when their kids reach a certain age. Uh, the two aren't supposed to come together. Uh, but siblings, um, you know, if they're acting responsible within the family structure, then you might turn around if you're rebellious and, and say they're acting like old people. Parents rejected me, household germ. I crawled for the garden with the worms. I am rotten apple with the worms, chewing at my core. Now I'm disgracing the family name. He is erasing the family name. He is raising their fine reputation. Listen to them whine as they dine. Why, why, why whine? I started school at a primal age. Teachers were so enraged, hated me. I lifted old ladies dresses at the age of three. Dirty as a baby, goo goo. Now I'm disgracing the family name. He is erasing the family name. He's erasing, oh, their fine reputation. How are they old folks at home? Better leave the neighborhood and change your name. Cause I am disgracing, destroy the family name. He's erasing, wrecking, ruin the family name. He's erasing their fine, fine reputation. And this is, you know, uh, a story that happens with, through, I don't know, it's, it's like one of these generational things. I uh, will always have children who are a little bit, um, some will call them black sheep, 
other would call them creatively different. And I'm not trying to put like a, a, a liberal sort of spin on it. I think when we're kids, we all developed slightly different to, I mean, I've got, I've got a number of brothers and I'm completely different to how they are. They are completely different to each other. Um, and the, the, you know, there'll be the, the one that we feel is, is, has always done something di different to disgrace the family name. Um, you know, what will the neighbours think of that person? Um, and that's when the trouble starts is when families start thinking, what will the neighbours think? And um, because, um, ultimately, uh, that person might be just a little bit different in their approach to life. And sometimes these things can lead to great careers, great um, ways of living. <clears throat> but then if we label that person and, and push them out because they don't fit into our criteria, they don't fit into our structure, then they can become what people like a, a bit of a pest on society. And they can become a prior um, and the black sheep of a family. Uh, and this is because we kind of push them that way rather than sort of, uh, I guess, constrained them a little bit, but gave them a little bit of freedom. And I think maybe certain children at a certain age understand and respect when they're given, given a little, but they have a little bit taken. Um, but I think some family structures are very suffocating. I've known families like that. This is a really, really cool record. I'm going to have to look into this band uh, a little further. I'm not sure what their history, what their timeline, what their discography uh, is like, uh, where their music took them. Um, but I'm really enjoying what they did with this song and I hope you guys do too. And um, yeah, absolutely join me in the comments below. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this band and this track um and yeah till next time take care of yourselves have a great day have a great week and uh i'll speak to you soon